open circuit voltage OCV versus CCV, closed circuit voltage. Open circuit voltage is the voltage when the machine is on, but the welding is not taking place. This voltage usually ranges between 80 and 100 volts, and uh, this voltage is high, and it allows the arc to be struck e easily. So you turn on a machine. Uh, unfortunately, this ideal arc 250 is not going to be a, a good example, but you turn on a welding machine that has a digital readout, and if you can uh, look at what the volts are, you're about to stick weld, but you're not actually welding currently take a look at the machine and you'll see a number usually usually probably closer to 80 maybe 85 and sometimes you'll see that it's actually skipping up and down maybe it's like uh, 79.9 80.1 whatever it might be that is your open circuit voltage so you know as a welder when the machine is on it's live okay so if we uh, complete the circuit uh, we're going to get shocked, right? So, you know, safety. Here's the thing. It's usually uh, somewhere around 80 where it's a little bit safer than if it was 120 volt like a regular socket at home, which actually can be very dangerous. Uh, it can really lock you up and and, and actually have some uh, bad results. Um, anyway, so we're about uh, 80 to 100 volts, and that's a higher voltage so that when we go to actually strike an arc, so here we go to strike, we got our 80 to 100 volts, no problem, we scratch it, it strikes an arc instantaneously. Our voltage is going to drop almost to uh, between uh, 10 and 36 volts, and then that's all we need. We only need about 10 to 36 volts, somewhere in that ballpark, to actually maintain the, the arc. So we want to keep this arc going so we can continue to lay down a bead, melt metal, and uh, weld whatever it is we're trying to weld. Uh, that voltage is actually going to change as the welder changes their arc length, okay? So we got a stick rod here. We'll say it's an eighth inch stick rod. We're welding on some quarter inch steel, whatever. Uh, the general rule of thumb is to actually have one rod diameter of distance between the metal and the end of the uh, stick electrode. Uh, so we're human, we're not robots. The rod is melting quickly. Uh, to maintain that perfect one rod diameter is uh, nearly impossible. So you're gonna be a little bit closer, maybe a half a rod diameter or three quarters of a rod diameter, or maybe you're gonna get a little bit farther away as this thing burns away, maybe you're not uh, staying close. Uh, so that's actually going to change your voltage. So as you get farther away, your voltage is gonna go up maybe into the 30s, and as you get closer to the metal, your voltage will actually drop, okay? Uh, just a quick electrical uh, theory here. As your voltage goes up, your amperage will drop, and as your voltage goes down, your amperage will go up. It's a, it's a relationship. One goes down, one goes up. Luckily, with a constant current power source like this, your uh, amperage is going to stay pretty close to wherever you wanted it to be. So we're running an eighth inch 60-10, we, we'll say. Maybe we set it to 90 amps. So your your machine is going to maintain pretty darn close to that 90 amps um, as much as it can. And you can watch the digital readout on these machines to actually see where your amperage is. You can as a welder, but maybe somebody could stand there and say, hey, you're at 92, 96, uh, 85, whatever it is. But it's enough heat to continue to melt that rod. Now, if it actually dropped down to like 60, well, that rod's not going to burn the way you uh, had intended it to. It's going to stick to the metal, and you're not going to be able to maintain uh, the proper arc, the proper temperature, and all that. But that's not going to happen because this is a constant current power source, and that's what it's intended to do. Okay, so we have open circuit before welding, higher numbers, and then we have closed circuit welding voltage or arc voltage, they're all the same thing. It's when you're welding, what is your voltage? And it does drop down significantly because we want that lower voltage and higher amperage to stick metal together. All right, that's a wrap.